a little bit that time. The two forwards uh, playing five on five, backing down and giving the Potsdam point to all kinds of room, and uh, that created uh, some havoc, allowed Potsdam to get a couple opportunities to keep it in, and which led to that penalty. So uh, with 5.02, Raiders have got two men in the penalty box for 22 seconds, and uh, and for a minute eight, they'll be down a full. Hooking the call. 58 seconds. Joe Ward to take the draw against Josh Close off the faceoff. Puck comes back to the blue line. McCluskey trying to flip it in the corner. Ward picks it up, flips it out to center ice, just barely though. And back after it is big Ryan War. War flips it across, goes to Reed. Reed dipsy doodles, trying to get by the Messina defenseman, just barely got by him. Now it trickles right in, and Smythe has to make a save. Here's another shot. Nelson's back on along with Meacham. Puck comes out by the blue line. Meacham throws a check. It comes free to Clint Kerwin. He can't control it. The puck goes in the corner. Reed after it. Now Meacham picks it up. Meacham, and the puck is underneath him. And there's going to be a penalty on Potsdam. I oh, wait a minute. The Potsdam player close took a shot. Face off outside the blue line. I think that's probably what he's going to call. But uh, oh, because we saw a little bit of after the whistle action there, but uh, no call and uh, face off a move outside the zone. Okay. Excellent job by number eight, to Scott Butler. I believe he's only a freshman. He didn't see any ice time the first time, but he's been playing well of late. Coach Stark said, and he did an excellent job that time uh, to evade, to keep the puck in the zone, and to evade uh, the Raider checker over there. He's not very big, but uh, he plays big. 424 left in the third period. 52 seconds left in the minor penalty to Messina. And the Raiders lead by a goal here, 4-3. Off the faceoff, here comes D'Agostino after it. He pokes it away, kind of a missed pass by Ryan Warren. Now the puck bounces free, racing in. Cameron cranks it up. Oh, that was look he was looking for a deflection, and he almost got it, but not quite. It comes to Wonky, and he just dumps it right back in the Potsdam zone. Buck around the horn. And out by the blue line, Cameron picks it up. He'll drop it back to the Messina line. And it's poke checked ahead nicely by Hearn. Here's Cameron flipping it, trying to flip it to himself. He's upended, and the puck bounces free. And we're down to 14 seconds left in the power play. Now they all, nobody seems to want it except the Agostino as he battles his way through and finally comes in behind the net, cleared around the boards. Four seconds left in the power play. Here comes. Travis Nelson into the Messina zone, cranks it up the shot. He fired it way wide, and the puck rips around the boards to Cameron, and he'll move it out as the penalties elapsed. Headman D'Agostino, he busts by one, trying to slide it through. It's going to trickle on Howe, and Jesse comes way out of his net and covers up, and we'll have a faceoff. 3.20 left in the third period. Messina still holding on to a 4-3 lead. Excellent job uh, killing on that power play. Anthony D'Agostino, Michael Cameron up front with Drew Wonky and Chaz Hearn on the point. But uh, D'Agostino and Cameron were a thorn in the, uh, and really had the stoners bottled up in their own end. In fact, uh, created a turnover and gave Michael Cameron a great scoring opportunity. Face off inside Potsdam Territory Ward, trying to battle his way through, but it's out to center ice. Picked up there by Gilmore. Gilmore's head man for Lampson goes by him, and it'll be Nightingale. Nightingale in his own end, lost it in his skates, but manages to get it ahead to Slack. Slack will skate it ahead and move it out of the zone. Here comes Jeffrey Slack in on the off wing. He takes it across, gets by one, turns it around and nowhere to go with it, and throws it in the corner. Ward throws a check, and a hard check it was, and the puck squirts free somehow. Lampson, oh, he throws it ahead, but out of the zone it comes. Here comes Potsdam into the Messina zone. That's Adam Cook. He's bodied out of the play. The puck chopped ahead. It comes to Carroll. Carroll looks, goes by everybody. It's going to trickle down the ice, not far enough for icing, as the icing is waved off. Two and a half left in the third period, and the puck off the glass. Out to center ice, knocked back in the zone. Raiders have to get onside. Potsdam clears anyway. Puck trickles into the Messina zone. Clint Kerwin back after. Drops it for Ben Nightingale. Nightingale in behind his own net, now starts out. Flips it on the wing. Goes to Seacott. Seacott bounce pass to Slack. He just deflects it in the Potsdam zone. 2.09 left in the third period. Here's Potsdam now. Clear their zone. Puck stolen momentarily by Farmer. He didn't know where it was, though, in his skates. And he clears it along the boards, and Potsdam will move it ahead. Intercepted by Hazel. Hazel turns it around. Moves it. Hazel still has. Oh, he gets hooked down. And Gilmore will pick up a hooking call 
as he had his stick right up in his cage. He's, he's shaking his head. How can he shake his head on that one? Well, maybe in his heart he didn't mean to do it, but he did it, and a bad call right in front of the referee, right in the neutral zone as uh, he pulled down the Messina player, and you're, you're down by a goal with a minute 51 and uh, create a penalty. And young Mr. Gilmore's had an outstanding game uh, here this afternoon, uh, along with that with Travis Nelson and Mike Lampson, but that's a, that's a bad penalty to take at this stage of the hockey game. So Potsdam will call a timeout here. 1.51 remaining in period number three. A lot of goals in the second period, nothing here in the third as of yet. And both both teams will change their philosophy, have changed it here in the in the dying minutes. The, the Raiders are going to be thinking defense, uh, good uh, solid setup in their own end. Uh, don't take any chances, uh, chip the puck hard, don't be worried about taking an icing. Change your four checking pattern, send one man, certainly keep the other two high if not uh, all the way back to the blue line, at least the top of the circle. And on the other side of the coin, the Sandstoners are going to be wanting to get, not playing in the neutral zone, get it the puck down low and get on top of it and dive the defenseman every opportunity you get. Take the op take the chances. Uh, 151 down by one. As we mentioned, it doesn't make any difference to get beat by one or by two. That's right. 4-3 our score here. I want to thank our sponsors again, Nationwide Insurance, Messina Savings and Loan, Coca-Cola Bottlers, Seaway Orthopedics, North Country Savings Bank, Reynolds Metals, Messina Optics, Homestead Dairies, Messina Building Supply, Seacom, and Seaway Tire. 4-3 the score, Raiders lead by one, with 1.51 remaining in the third period, and the Raiders will go on the power play as well. And I'm sure Coach Stark mentioned to goaltender Jesse Howe, gave him some instruction on when he wants him to come to the bench uh, in this uh, last uh, couple of minutes. We've got uh, the, uh, well, who do we got? We got Meacham, Kerwin, and Cameron out there with Wonky and Nightingale. Nelson will be out there with Lampson for Messina, or for Potsdam up front, off the faceoff, puck across. And Kerwin just flips it into the corner, comes bouncing free to the blue line, Nightingale goes to Meacham. Meacham has it knocked away, can't come up with it. Comes back to Nightingale and is poked by him. You can't give up a two-on-one when you're a man advantage. Here comes Nelson, winds it. His shot is blocked as the Raiders got back. But, you know, you just talked about it, Coach. You're shaking your head right now. The Raiders give up a two-on-one when they've got a man advantage. Now the puck comes down in front of the net as Meacham gets hauled down. But he gets it ahead finally to Wonky. Wonky trying to bust his way by. He gets hauled down. No call. And the puck goes around the boards. It'll come back to Nightingale. Here's Nightingale with it. Flips it to Meacham. Meacham shoots, save, rebound, another shot and a save by Howe. 105 left in the third period, 44 seconds left in the penalty, and it's still 4 3 Messina, but I'll tell you, the Raiders made, uh, you know? Grievous mistake. Yeah. And the guy that corrected it or did an outstanding job, number four out there, Drew Wonky, as he gave up the body as Nelson has broke away two on one. He, he and uh, Lampson, when the Raider defenseman dived and shouldn't. But uh, great play by Drew Wonkies. He blocked that shot with the body, and that was a scorcher. Messina doesn't need another goal. Oh, they All don't. they need is to keep Potsdam from scoring. Puck comes back to the blue line. Flipped ahead. Here comes Potsdam's war. He overskates, and the Raiders pick it up. Kerwin ahead to Cameron. He waved at it going by. Back out to center ice. Nightingale. He fired it. It comes bouncing free to Wonky. Wonky ahead to Meacham. He just drifts it into the zone. Here's Meacham with it. Oh, I think that came out of the zone, coach. But Meacham's got it. Here's Meacham in the circle. Skates in front. His shot. Fires it. And Howe covers up. Oh, the puck came free, but the whistle blew. Seven seconds left in the penalty. 28 seconds in the third period. Messina leads 4-3. to three. Face off in the Potsdam zone. That's right, 28, 28 ticks away from the Raiders picking up their sixth win of the year and uh, picking up a big NAC victory because uh, the, even at this stage of the season, they've got to be looking down the road placement. They want to finish first, one or two, and get that home ice advantage in the sectionals. And uh, again, I... Let's see if they're not going to keep everybody up, but I'd keep the even keep the two wings, at least one of the wings back. Uh, see how uh, Coach Long's going to play it. Uh, change in line. It's got the uh, Ward, Slack, and the Agostino, Agostino yep. on the wing. Anthony back in the slot area. Just oh, get that defenseman back there. Off the faceoff, puck goes bouncing in the corner. The Agostino digs it free, centers it, gets it back again to Ward in front, bangs at it. Where is it? 
Side of the net goes in behind. 16 seconds left. Penalties elapsed. Raiders control in front. Now bounces out to center ice. Here comes Potsdam breaking back the other way. Into the Messina zone. Winds up. Shot save made by Smythe. Now there's pushing and shoving with four seconds left in the game. Oh, and some punches thrown. This one's not going to, there's going to be penalties here. There's another punch thrown and another punch. Uh, Get free! Uh, pushing and shoving. And I, uh, there's going to be penalties. Oh, and there's going to be uh, penalties. There's going to be disqualification. Here we go again. Anthony Diagostino has won and... Uh, and number 19, yes. uh, that's Nelson or not, but I know Nightingale and Gilmore also are gonna, I'm sure 19 and uh, Nelson for Potsdam and 11, Gilmore, and probably Diagostino and Nightingale. Uh, Nightingale might dodge the bullet well, because they didn't see they him. Didn't the see the him. That's right. They were trying to break the, up the fight. And he and uh, Gilmore definitely were throwing punches, but I guess he's gonna dodge the bullet and probably Gilmore too. Four seconds left in the third period. And the Stoners go down. I mean, if they go down, they're going down. To, uh, I'll tell you, John Sovey coming down that left side uh, from about uh, 38 feet out. Crank went up, and uh, Nathaniel Smythe had but, to make the save to know, keep this uh, you, <laughs> one you, goal game. You, you, you yeah. said it. I mean, if you were the coach, you'd be pulling your hair out right now. <laughs> there, there is no reason. There is no reason Potsdam should have had any chance at all. Everybody, you know, you should keep the wing back, as you said. Why they didn't, I don't know. You know, they get awful hungry for, you know, they want to score that other goal. Messina doesn't need another goal. Yeah, I guess, uh, well, it's like uh, whether in football or the guy that throws the touch, catches the touchdown pass, baseball, the guy who hits the home run, you know, hockey, the guy who scores the 37 goals, the uh, defense, what wins the game for you, uh, and uh, that many times that's overlooked, and uh, it's hard to get it through the youngster's mind sometimes that, uh, Defense is just as important, uh, more so at times. <laughs> the net result will be five on four, I'm sure. No, five on five. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be all matching. And with Potsdam pulling their goaltender, it'll be six on five to uh, have this final face-off. The main thing is uh, they're going to lose Anthony Diagostino. We'll, we'll see what the call is. They're going to lose him, if uh, I think, because punches were thrown for yep. the next game. Yep. And uh, he'll lose two because Coach Long will bench him for one. They gave him three each? Oh. oh. Kind That's of break. generous. Very generous. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because they were wailing and uh, swinging from the heels, and uh, they missed uh, Nightingale and Gilmore. Had a little yeah. set two over in the corner, but as you said. They were breaking up the other one. Right. That's, uh, that's very generous of the officials. If, in fact, they don't give them uh, game misconducts. Well, again, two veteran officials have done uh, a, a good job here this afternoon calling this game. Uh, uh, Danny Boyer along with uh, Billy Foster and uh, in their estimation it uh, didn't deem and I, I think they're they're probably correct uh, even though punches were thrown maybe they were losing their balance when the arms were flailing. Drew Wonky he picked uh, Just set him off the ice. Okay he probably got uh... well maybe because uh, <laughs> They want less players on the ice to shake hands after, hopefully. We'll, let, we'll wait and this see. This is a little unusual. Usually we don't see this between Potsdam and Messina. No, they had uh, only six or nine penalties in the first game, and coming into the third period, there were only, let's see here, uh, there were only four penalties up to that up to that stage, one on Potsdam and, uh, and uh, three on Messina, but okay, here, here in that go. third period. Let's see if we can pick them up here. Number 19, Travis Nelson. Nelson. And Messina's number 10. And Diagostino. Four-minute major. Four minute major. Oh. oh, they did give him a game. Yeah. Munstone. Wonky. Double minors for roughing. And a misconduct. That's why he for said For what? Him. What's the point of that, I wonder? Uh. Okay, that was it. So the face-off, with the face-off outside the zone, we've got uh, the lineup. Look at this lineup. Just going to tip it ahead and uh, hope to get a shot. Up. Off the draw, it comes into the Messina zone, and Nightingale just clears it in behind the net as the buzzer sounds. And the Raiders uh, give Potsdam full measure. It was, a, it was a tough win for Messina, four to three.